What is up, guys? The final part of our shenanigans. Hopefully, we can find a ranked match. That is the real struggle. I'm becoming thirsty, and I'm stuck in the desert of unfound matches. <laughs> That's where we are right now. We are lost in that land. It happens, you know what I mean? Sometimes you get stuck in no man's land where nobody exists, and you can't find a match. Anyways, we should probably get back to our figurines here. Like I said, there's four remaining. And I'd like to delve into them as we go through this episode. So first, we have ourselves. This is another animal. Probably hard to tell from right there, but it's a little figurine that I got. And it's a dire wolf. If you guys have seen Game of Thrones, you should know what that is. It's basically just a big wolf. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool little figurine. A little black, black dire wolf. Green eyes. Pretty dope. Fuglore, huh? This is interesting. I've never played this matchup either. This should be should be an interesting one. I actually have some I actually have some cool trinkets to show you guys too. My desk is pretty uh it's pretty legit. You guys don't even begin to comprehend it. Okay. Alright, if you uppercuts it'll trade. Whoops, I did. I should have done roundhouse, actually. I should have done something else. Huh? Alright. Uh-oh, that's damage. Oh, I got stuffed. I dropped my combo. Oh, oh, he didn't punish. Got him. I fucked that up. I was supposed to be a, a flame spit. Oh, I thought he was an uppercut. Oh, well, I'll take a throw. I only have like 150% life lead. I mean, there comes a certain point where you're just okay with it, you know? I was ahead by so much. It was really hard to make that come back. <sighs> Alright, so you guys have seen the Dire Wolf. What have you seen so far? Let's run it back in order. You guys have seen Aquaman. You guys have seen the Sheba, Wolverine, the g kid from Adventure Time, whatever his name is. Dire Wolf. Now what's next? Oh, you guys, if you guys don't recognize this one, I'd be very surprised. Here we go. This is the homie. Let's see if it'll focus. Boom. R2-D2. I don't even know where I got this, to be honest. I think this is like a gift from like a friend who went to Disneyland and then they got this in like the, um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Disneyland, right? I live so close to it that it, I probably take it to it, take it for advantage. But if you guys have been to the California Disneyland, there's a ride. I don't know what the name of it is. I don't know if you guys can help me out here. It's pretty dope though. Like you like sit in this, like you have like a seat, right? You're seat belted in, which is like most roller coasters. Uh, and you like fly around and you're like part of like, the squad that takes down the Death Star, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. And then yeah, there's a gift shop when you go when you're at the end of the ride because it's a it's an amusement park. It has to make money. So at the end, there's a gift shop, and I think that's where I got that from. Somebody got for me that there. It's pretty cool. This one is a gift from Anton. If you guys don't know who Anton is, that's a Filipino man. This is a gift from him. Oh, right here, because we always have this eternal argument about what version of Pikachu is the coolest. Now, if you guys could help a brother out, there's two versions of Pikachu that we're arguing about, okay? There's Skinny Pikachu, which is not the early Pikachu, right? The early Pikachu in the cartoons is fat. He's like a big, chunky Pikachu. So, which is cooler, Skinny Pikachu or Chunky Pikachu? What do you guys think? You guys think the, uh... Which one do you think is cooler? I think Skinny Pikachu is cooler. Let me tell you why. Skinny Pikachu went through all that weight loss. He worked hard. You know what I'm saying? Lost the weight. And now he's feeling himself. He's looking good. You know what I'm saying? So I think Skinny Pikachu takes the cake. But if you guys have a different opinion, let me know. But I'm just saying. Skinny Pikachu all day. All right. Here we go. Let's try this. Spinal Maya, which is this matchup is no fun now.
Nice, that was a break on the mediums. Oh, I broke the medium. I'm gonna blow out anyway. Oh, that was heavy. Well, there goes everything. Oh, really? I didn't think he was going to break it, honestly. That's going to chip him, right? Oh, he's going to be able to teleport. Damn. Got to waste out the instinct a little bit right there. We got our daggers back. I was supposed to be a dagger toss. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to jab his skull. Alright, the next time we hit him, he's gonna be dead. Oh, he's dead. Rest in peace. It's been a pleasure. You're dead. <laughs> That's just the way it goes, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a pretty rough life. Um, I just got a little weather alert. Oh, it is now 45 degrees outside. How do people survive in these Arctic temperatures? I don't understand. It just doesn't make sense to me. Alright, the final figurine is I got this. I don't remember where the hell I got this, to be honest. But it's the guy from Skyrim. It's the Dovakin. The Dovakin. See? He's got the little helmet there. And you guys can't see it, but in one hand he has a sword, and the other he has an axe. So that is the situation with that. I'm a fan. I don't want to play Maya again. I want to play Thunder. So yeah, that is all the figurines on my desk. I do have a cool trinket that I want to show you guys. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm a massive fan of Avatar. We'll get into this afterwards, okay? But yeah, it's pretty. this one's pretty sick. If you guys like Avatar like I do, you guys will think this is pretty sick. But here we go. Chief Thunder. Oops. I dropped my manual right there. I should have broke that light, huh? I should have just trusted myself. Yeah. That was like, that was guaranteed. Alright, let's see what he does on wake up. I didn't think he would teleport on wake up, to be honest with you. I didn't think he would be that crazy. That was a big risk. That stuffed my, uh, what's it called? That actually stuffed my uppercut. I'm kind of surprised. The jump attack stuffed the uppercut. And Thunder's uppercut's not particularly good. So, it's it's not used for anti-airing like that. It's not the purpose. Nice. Where was my jab? Really? He backdashed? I uppercut last time. Should have uppercut again. Oh, I hit Jed.
<laughs> Chief Thunder. <laughs> That's what he says the whole time. I uh, I didn't think he would teleport. Is the thing I was pretty sure he didn't. He thought I was gonna throw the teleport, right? That's why I went for the overhead because the overhead beats the back dash. So that was the guessing game there. If you guys are curious why I did overhead, and that was the first time you guys have seen me done, do overhead, because the overhead beat the back dash and the back dash beat the throw. So that was rock paper scissors, and I did scissors and he did paper. And if you guys know how that works, you're done. <laughs> That's just how it is. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching these shit. Oh, yeah, I got to show you the trinket. Okay, hold on. I almost kicked it into outro mode before we got to the trinket. You guys ready for this shit? All right. Well, I grabbed the wrong thing. Where is it, actually, now that I think about it? I just recently rearranged my desk, so now I'm really confused. found it everybody relax all right so if you guys are into avatar then you'll like this which if you're not into avatar what the fuck is wrong with you go watch the last airbender and Korra back to back right now marathon that bitch if you guys are into avatar then look at this you guys see this if you guys don't recognize that that is a white lotus tile so if you haven't seen the show the white lotus are a pretty important group of people but the white lotus itself is a uh, piece used in the game called pie show in the show it's kind of like it's kind of like their version of like mahjong or something like that so yeah white lotus style is pretty important if you guys haven't seen it and if you have seen it then you understand how fucking cool that is oh my god all right i'm a major fanboy so anyway thank you guys for joining me hopefully you guys had a good time playing some video games stuff like that it's been a pleasure and uh hopefully your uh resolutions for New Year's work out well. I put those in quotes because they are not resolutions. They are decisions you're you're choosing to make to change your life and they shouldn't be resolutions because you don't have to decide to do anything just because it's the new year. You should want to change your life for other reasons. At least that's what I think. So before I get all ranty, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys again soon.